when you use the bathroom, uh, the public bathrooms, it's really troublesome. Number one, because if you use the regular commode and the toilet seat is soiled with a lot of impurities. You know, non-Muslims don't have a problem with that because it is of no concern. They can just simply change their undergarments, throw them in the, uh, in, in, in the laundry, and that's it. But we do have a major issue, which is najasa, impurity. To pray, I'm required to secure the purity of the body and the clothes and the spot on which I'm praying. That's why the brother was concerned about wearing perfume which have alcohol. And now, if you sit on a toilet seat which is soiled with urine drops, you cannot pray because your body has been soiled. You have to wash it off. Very problematic. So the urinal or the standing facility to answer the call of nature is available. Is it permissible to urinate while standing? It is permissible if you can secure that. Again, the urine wraps are not going to soil your clothes or your body, and it would not impurify your body or your clothes. In this case, it is permissible. Second condition is secure covering the aura. We see non-Muslims, and we see that all the time in the public places, such as at the airport, schools. They will be talking to each other while answering the call of nature. Some bathrooms don't even have doors, and people will get to see each other like that public bathroom. This is absolutely forbidden in Islam. It's called khala, because you are by yourself or away from the sight of people. You know, the Prophet ﷺ commanded covering, one, uh, covering up one's aura except from his or her.